Well, hello there. We are back with this thing. And you might think, well, if you haven't actually paid attention to the beginning of the last video, or at least the last video on this thing in particular, that this has only been a day or two afterward. <laughs> oh, contraire, my friends. This is pretty much an entire year since the first part was filmed. You see, I'm not always that quick at doing these types of projects. And it basically, you know, we're back again. Does it take a year to build a PC? No, it doesn't, but it apparently takes me a year to build a PC. A uh, combination of laziness, things getting in the way, personal issues, which I talked in the comeback video, well, it's a few videos ago. It's the one where it says, I'm back, go watch that one. I need help and advice and, and guidance and all that kind of stuff. <sighs> okay. So let's continue. These videos are in more of a vloggy style anyway. They're not really tightly edited. This is just me sitting down, tinkering with an old machine and um, seeing what we can get out of it. This is intended to go up for like probably New Year's Day tomorrow. I mean, I could just post it on New Year's Day because that's when the second half or maybe the other one was done on the second because it was like there was a break in between. But I want to try and see what needs to be done on this. The build is going to be finished either tonight or tomorrow, but I don't even think there's a lot to do. I think I was going to plug it in, test it and do some other things. Possibly install Windows 98. I don't know. So let's crack it open and see where we got up to. I may remember from there. Oh yeah, and I found um, the IO shields for that that I said I didn't have. There's at least four there that uh, could po possibly potentially work. Yeah, I'm not taking the board out to put that in, so It'll have to do without. Okay, so we've got... Yeah, this is where we kind of left off. We had all the plugs plugged in. Uh, God, I really should have put notes in here. So that is what? That's the floppy emulator. We've got the IDE connector that goes to the optical drive. And then the zip drive. And then we've got a floppy connector that, well, does floppy connector -y things. Ah, ah, this is this is what we were going to try and do. The power for the SSD didn't have, well, there wasn't one. So we can take that from two places. We can either, I think that one, since that one's free, it's going to go down here. Because that's already in, is it? No, floppy power is in. And... Hold on a second, I'm getting confused here. What is this? No, emulator. There's a floppy emulator up there. Real floppy down here. Zip drive down there. So yeah, zip drive's got power. The floppy drive just needs its cable. Oh, sorry, the, the emulator needs a cable. That could potentially be a problem because uh, I've tidied away all my cables, but I may have to just get it out. Bear with me, I think I'm going to make exactly sure what I need to get and then we'll fetch everything. I've managed to do a few things. I've found an adapter, I don't know if you can see that, which allows the SATA to be powered on the SSD because it actually wasn't. There's not enough light there. Hold on a second. That's a lot better. So that's done there. That's actually now a single link that goes into the floppy emulator, which means we don't have extra cables hanging around. And I've exchanged the cable for the fan for a shorter one. That's the length of the other one, so it's significantly longer than that. And this just kind of tidies the cable up a little bit, although it's still a little bit messy, but it's better than it was. Now also there's another thing I need to attend to. You see, the floppy drive has its cable, and that's all fine. I took the rest up there, or in here. But the emulator needs a cable as well, and this is only like single link. So I dug around in my supplies, and I have this thing. I think I know how I'm supposed to put this. I think basically first device is here, then there's the twist, and second device goes on that end. Could be the other way around, I'm not completely au fair with that, but it should... Yeah, that should reach just fine. So I'm going to get that in in just a moment. Other problem of note down here, just put on the desk, is, well, we've got all of such as this. This is the speaker, and there's, of course, the power button. That has got to be somehow fed into that terminal there, which is always a lovely task to have, I'm pretty sure. So we'll get on with that, but first I'll do this. Well, that's all nicely in. Uh, the cable's got a little bit of a fold in it, but that should be absolutely fine. 
and it goes all the way to drive one, all the way up to drive two. So I can really neat that actually. I think we'll just turn it around and do some uh, cable management. Oh, I meant to show you. I did put something on the top of the where the power supply is to try and pull it up. Don't know if that really does anything. It doesn't seem to, unfortunately. Hmm, that was the plan. And there we go for that one. I turned it round and strapped this cable in behind. I mean, literally, this is just so tidy now. So yes, I know I have been putting it off, but now we need to tackle those. Because otherwise we can't turn the PC on now, can we? <sighs> Time to get the manual. So I got a little confused as to what these cables are. And it turns out that what they actually are is for the front panel there. Well, I'm not really planning on using them and it's just going to cause extra confusion. So I've just tied them up around there. Oh, there's some that I missed. Uh, we're not going to use them. It's only these. So this one is really easy because it goes to the speaker, even though it doesn't actually say that. It says nothing. This one then must go to the buzzer that's in the front. And so we're not going to use that. Get in shot, Stephen. So that one's going to be tied up as well. What's this? Power switch. Excellent. That's what we need. Um, power LED. Yeah, there should all be among them. What the hell's that one? HDD LED. Uh, I know I'm putting it off, but I have to do it. Right, so I've got the manual here. Motherboard manual. Better zoom in for you. These are all of the connections. So power button, quite obviously, power LED, reset, speaker, ah, IDE LED, that's disc LED, that other one's probably the the other one. I was probably going to make this easier if I just take a picture with my phone, because that's really small in this book, and while I have good eyesight, I'm, I'm going to struggle to read that. Okay, well I've done my best to translate that into that. The power LED uh, appears to be five pins, but of course that black square probably means it's pin one. So mine was only three pins. Well, it was two pins, but it had three on the socket, so I'm assuming that I put mine as far to the left of that as I can, so that would leave two pins near the end, which I don't know if you can see that, just here I appear to have done. Uh, and all the labels are on this side. So I guess we'll find out when we try and turn this on, if it actually works and, well, powers up. Great, we got it right. If it didn't, oh no, I don't want to do that. But honestly, I don't know what else we have to do. Pretty much everything's done. The hardware is in, everything should work, fans are in. I think we're actually going to be powering up and uh, post-testing this tonight, what do you reckon? So confident am I that this may work, <laughs> probably misplaced, that I'm putting it all back together. And why not give it just a little kind of thumb screw, because that's easier. Apparently not to do it with my left hand. There we go. Okay, power is plugged up. I've got the lap dock out, and I'm using it like this, with this weird adapter. VGA to HDMI because the simplest of things I cannot find my other DVI to HDMI I have two and I haven't a bloody clue where it is but anyway we got this plugged up we've got it taken power from this thing if it can't do it well we've got a power bank that should work uh, got it plugged up to audio I think we're just about ready so let's just open this thing and let's go back here okay three two one oh that's alive that's alive can you picture on the screen come on come on All right no picture yet Okay, let's try this again. So I've just moved things so that they're the other way around. I don't know what's going on. 
and there was no beep so it could very well be that I've got this kind of round the wrong way. See the power button wouldn't really matter because it's just two terminals but the speaker and all the other things probably would. So I'm just going to swap at least the speaker around and that might give me a reason as to why possibly why the power LED isn't working either. And just like that we fix it. Do you know what it was? I reseated the CPU. I did the RAM, then I did the CPU, and then I checked all my cables. The PC speaker, everything is exactly where I had it, is in the right place. Apart from the um, power LED, that does not want to work for some reason. But hey, check it out. We have a working system. Oh, that is so good. In fact, let's, let's actually just see that again. Let's just turn it off. Three, two, one. That's just the zip drive, don't worry about that. There it goes. Oh, would you look at that? That's beautiful. It sees the chip. And the CPU temperatures look pretty good. Look at that, 26 degrees, 25. That's really respectable. I mean, it's noisy as a noisy thing. I mean, check that out. It's really, really noisy. But we got it, people, and it identifies everything. Primary master, it can't quite detect. I think we just might need to adjust a few things there. Secondary master doesn't detect at all, but it does detect the zip drive. Keyboard error or no keyboard present. Well, that's that's absolutely fine. Don't worry about that. I don't know what else to say. It works. Okay, so. We're all uh, nicely sat down and ready to go. I've connected the keyboard because this lap dock doesn't have its usual USB cable. And I've made a slight modification to the optical drive. It's now in the, uh, the, the jumper position was set to slave. Well, the zip drive was already occupying that. Amazing what a pair of tweezers will do. So let's start it up again and see if we can enter the setup. Awesome. The optical drive appears to work just fine. It says CMOS check some error. Defaults loaded. That's not so good. Usually that means there's something wrong with the BIOS, but um, well, let's get into setup. Hmm. Well, that's odd. Let's try resetting it. I'm beginning to think that actually the CMOS battery could be dead. In fact, it will be dead after the edge of the thing. Well, let's see what happens if we press F1. Nothing. Well, I don't know if we can go any further. I actually wanted to try and install something tonight. Well, it's stopped doing the CRC checksum error. I'll just show you if I reset it. It does its usual thing. It checks the memory. And then it lists the drives after the temperatures. And then just stops. With a, you know, no signal. I still think there's a problem with the actual battery. And it could be that the display, or whatever, whatever's being output through the VGA and then being translated through the converter, is kind of out of the range for this thing. So I don't really know. So I'm going to do both. I'm going to get myself a new battery and I'm going to figure out something to give a better output for this thing. We'll, we'll figure it out anyway. Uh, but I think actually that may be as far as I can go. I don't really have the connections. I mean, I do have a VGA input in my ma main PC's monitor. I could try and connect all that up, but it's a big faff to try and get that to work. So I think we'll just possibly leave it here. So that wasn't quite the result that I wanted. I thought I'd be setting the thing up tonight, like maybe, well, say this morning, and installing Windows 98, but it looks like I need not only a new battery, but I also need to figure out the display situation, and I don't have either of those things. So now seems a good time to cut it, because it is New Year's Eve, and we're literally 
full circle from when this build started. So this is going to end up as being the last video of 2019. So really I don't think there's much else to say other than have a fantastic new year and I'll see you in 2020 with part three of this. See ya.